Nintendo Switch. What to look forward to in 2021. Brought to you by Phoenix 1987-20. So do me a favor. Hit that like button and share this with all your friends and family. I would really appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification so you can get my latest videos. And drop me down a comment below. I read everything. The good, the bad, the ugly, the trolls, and all that stuff. So without further ado, we're going to continue on with the rest of my video. With the Nintendo Switch about to enter its fourth year, and now 2021 is pretty much here. It seems like 2021 will be another great year for Nintendo Switch fans across the board. With a huge number of games already slated for 2021, from their own developers to third-party developers to indie developers, some games are already been have release dates locked in, and there are still lots of games that are slated for 2021 just waiting for a release date. Games that have been locked in with release date for the Nintendo Switch, and these are just to name a few, like uh, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser Fury, February 12th, Azil, Rai, Ryu, Rai, I can't, whatever the name is, to Lost Legend and The Secret Fairy is coming out January 26th. We got Taxi Chaos coming out February 23rd. We got Personnel. Five Strikers coming out February 23rd. We got Bravely Default 2 coming out February 26th. We got Sea of Solitude, the Director's Cut coming out March 4th. And Monster Hunter Rises coming out March 26th. And these are just a few of the games that have dates already locked in. Even with more games that do have a 2021 release window but without exact dates, are Pokemon Snap, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Sega, Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Rune, Rune Factor 5, Evil Dead The Game, No More Heroes 3, The Lord of the Rings, Golem, and Roller Champion. And these are just the name a few that already have a 2021 release window. And this is the kicker, with Nintendo having many anniversaries within the 2021 year, this could be a wild year for them. We have Donkey Kong 40th anniversary, we have Kirby's 40th anniversary, we have Metroid's 35th anniversary, we have The Legend of Zelda 35th anniversary, and we have the Pokemon 25th anniversary, with a crap load of rumored games to celebrate the uh, Nintendo Switch for their anniversary. And again, these are rumored games that may or may not come out. Again, when I say rumor, you gotta take it with a good grain of salt. To celebrate Donkey Kong's anniversary, the biggest rumor is right now that Donkey Kong 64 will get a remaster to the Nintendo Switch. And Donkey Kong Country Returns 3, whatever the title is going to be, is coming out in 2021. Again, those are all these games I'm naming off now are rumored to celebrate their anniversary. Kirby 64 Remastered and a new untitled Kirby, Kirby game coming out. I know that HAL Laboratories has mentioned that they do have a Kirby game coming out. They got a bunch of toys coming out for it and a bunch of cool new stuff, especially for people that have been supporting the Kirby brand, uh, name for a really long time. And for Metroid, the biggest thing is a Metroid collection. Now, if I poke and dig around, a lot of them are talking about not the Metroid Prime games, but the other games that came out like... Um, uh, Samus Returns, the DS games, and they're hoping that Metroid Prime 4 comes out this year as well. And the Legend of Zelda one, for the Celebrate Their Franchise, um, they're talking about doing a Legend of Zelda Master Sword Collection. And the rumor to be on those games 
Um, there's not your typical one, but they're looking at doing a straight uh, 3DS port of Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Spirit Tracks, Phantom Hourglass, and um, a link between worlds. Now again, that's all rumored. Nothing has been solid, but they're hoping to end the year off with Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Now, if these are coming true, it's going to be one hell of a year for Nintendo. And then finally, Pokemon. And the big talk is about is Let's Go, Johto, Diamond or Pearl, either Gen 2 or Gen 3 or Gen 4. Pokemon Stadium 3 game. A Pokemon Detective Pikachu sequel game. And a Pokemon Pofix collection. That's the biggest rumors coming right out over across the e, is that these are the games and they're again take it with a grain of salt. These are the games that they're that is been heavily rumored on Intel Nintendo or Game Freak or the companies that make these games, Retro Studios, Hal Laboratory. Until they can solitary confirm that these are the games that's going to be dropped in 2021, please take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. But there's also more rumors of games being released this year as well. Resident Evil Revelations 3, Metroid Samus Returns, Ninja Gaiden Trilogy, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, Mario Kart 9, The Outer World 2, Fire Emerald game because Three Houses did so well that they're looking at pumping out another game right now. And Bayonetta 3, which a lot of these games have been very quiet, but there's still whispers in the wind of developers talking about these games. With 2021, the year of the Metal Ox, could this be a winning year for Nintendo? And their fans in this gaming world with a lot with lots of titles locked in for the start of this year and with many titles having a 21 2021 release date but haven't been locked in and with rumored games to celebrate the a uh, anniversaries for me for many of nintendo's franchise like the famous quote from charlie sheen winning while well, us nintendo fans we could be saying the same thing if the playing cards are stacked for us the way we hope it could be. So, if you like my videos, hit that like button, please, and share this with all your friends and family. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification so you can get my latest, my latest videos, and drop me down a comment below. I love everything that you guys write. I read it, I try to respond to it as much as I can. I read the good, the bad, the ugly, the trolls, Sometimes the trolls are really funny. So, how about it? And um, until next time, this is Phoenix 1987 20 saying, have a good morning, a good evening, good afternoon. Peace.